Welcome back to the episode of Stories of Horror. Another episode we dive into the mysteries and the unknowns of the world. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Without further ado, hit the intro. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Stories of Horror. This is episode 8 of Stories of Horror, which is titled... The most disturbing hidden messages. I know I told you guys last week that the episode will be about sirens, but after some recent events, I had to switch the episode up a little bit. But the sirens episode will be coming next week. I thought we can get into that and dive into that next week. But today's episode, we're going by the most disturbing hidden messages. And I have, you know, a few. I have different like spots at different and like different places. So starting off first is of course music. Uh, music is um one Thing that people like to put like hidden messages in and you might see some positive hidden messages you might see some stuff in there that may be like okay that's cool when it's played this way when it's doing that like that you can, um, you can hear some stuff or like you turn something up to a certain way you can hear a message in the back like positive messages but some stuff be different a little more disturbing a little more evil a little more dark and some of these songs on this list i know of but some of these songs i've never heard of before but some of the lyrics that they had was just crazy uh, it's a rapper named big l and his um the song is titled Devil's Sons. Now, a song titled that, you already kind of know um <laughs> what it's probably implying or something is implying. It could be a deeper meaning, but when you use something like that, you kinda already get kind of get the sense of where the song is headed. But the lyric states that they say, they say he rapped he rapped now I I didn't write the word the lyrics word for word, but it's but he was rapping about raping nuns and killing handicapped people. Um now it wasn't nothing played backwards or anything either, so it was it was kind of like the met, like kind of way like he kind of like hidden within the like within the lyrics like that, kind of like the way he was um, rapping it and stuff. So I was like, ah, that, that's that's a little um, that's a little that's bad, and that's bad <laughs> to have that in the song like that. Uh, another one, of course, you guys know the the famous song, the Hotel California. Um, it has a lot of like different stuff in there too. Like when when it's when it's played backwards, you can hear a lot of stuff. Um kind of like devil worship and stuff and like evil stuff said the song was kind of about like the dark side of the dark side of like fame the dark side of fame dark side of hollywood dark side of being a celebrity and it kind of like when you hear it's it played backwards and now people thought that it was kind of like intentional it was intentional to kind of say that people who was doing it but the the artists and stuff said it wasn't intentional but that if it, if it wasn't intentional it's kind of crazy but it could be just saying that for the public but that would take a lot of creativity a lot of writing to to write a, some lyrics in a song that said this way, but when it's reversed, it says something else. That is that is very crafty, and that's very difficult to do. And like, especially in the way you pronounce and stuff and sound and stuff out. But Hotel California, there's a lot of different, there's a lot of different things and different messages. You can probably spend hours and hours upon that. So you can, if you guys want to listen to that, listen to that song and like listen to like some of the stuff they have in there. Another one is Stairway to Heaven. You know the, you know the Stairway to Heaven song. There's a lady, there's for sure. The Stairway to Heaven song, you know that's. that's a lot of people play, you know, and you see people go to guitar stores and play, and they say, uh-uh, don't play it like that. And that's part of that, like, the, like, the little running thing from the movie. That movie they had, I think, I believe so, was from a movie or something like that. But in the song, basically, when it's played, when it's played backwards, it's kind of similar to the Hotel California stuff. It's, um, basically have, like, like you can hear, like, stuff, like, kind of, like, Dribble Worship and stuff, so we love, we love Satan, or we love this, like, that's, like, kind of saying that stuff in the background of the song, like that. Now, it can be maybe a reach, because sometimes you, some you hear it, you, like, you kind of hear stuff like that, you may hear something different, but it's kind of, like, kind of, like, too much of a coincidence to be like that, and a song called, titled Stairway to Heaven, but when it's played reverse, it's, like, Stairway to Hell or something like that, so you never know exactly what it could be implying, but... It's a lot of music. It's just a short, a, a few lyrics like that. There's a lot of music. They have a lot of different, like, deep um, messages, hidden messages. It's, it takes a long time to do a deep dive into those stuff. But let's move on to the next one, which is cartoons. Cartoons has a lot, a lot of hidden messages, a lot, a lot of, like, I say disturbing because, like, it's in the kids' show. You have, like, some of the stuff you have in there. As you can see from the pictures on the screen, like, Lion King. And some of the stuff can be a reach, maybe. And, you know, some of the stuff on Disney. But some of the stuff is, like, blatant there. Like, you see pictures of, like, um, like naked pictures of of like characters, like of people and stuff like that, and like move and shows about like little, little characters and animals like they like this is a kids show. Why why is that in that in that scene? Why is that in that stuff like that? Why is words spill out like this and why is stuff like that? And like it kind of like you know it, it's, it's some bad stuff in there. And of course you um need to monitor some of the stuff your kids watch because you know at a young age when you're learning like how to like read and how to write and you're learning your stuff it sticks with you forever. So like you know like when 
you grow up and you say, my mom used to tell me this, my dad used to tell me that, my granny used to tell me that, like my uncle used to tell me that, my aunt used to tell me this. I even hear like how that those those sayings or those lessons learned in your mind it stays with you. But when a kid is shown and like their mind is poisoned with all this darkness and evilness and this weird stuff and like them showing them like stuff that you shouldn't know until you get older like that, it kind of like it can mess them up like that a little bit. So make sure you pay attention to that. But I always thought found thought it was weird that they have all this type of like weird stuff like and like sexual stuff and like all this crazy stuff in like kids shows they're just like some weird stuff i see why parents don't let their kids <laughs> watch on tv that much kind of like they just watch coco melon just watch coco melon and you'll be perfectly fine <laughs> moving on next is which what the video really originated from um i was probably, probably doing a video about sirens but as i seen that balenciaga scandal had to talk about it I had to put it on a video like that and it fits right into this video this video right here has been coming out way down the line like that and going to add more stuff into it but it fits right into it uh as you see from the picture on the screen uh it just is like you if we first glance at it you're probably looking at it like and saying um it's just it's a weird picture to have um for kids like a lot of stuff you think a kid photo shoot would probably be something that you know pertains to more kiddish like style kind of like appealing to more kids colorful or maybe animals and like that just like stuff that like the people more kids but like seeing a teddy bear with like these bondage like clothes and like dama matrix looking like clothes and the kids holding it is a little weird but when you actually like start zooming in we start zooming that's what got like that was what got real weird and crazy and twisted we start zooming into some of the imagery in the back and you, you can see like black birds you know black birds um can be a meaning of darkness and evil and like overtaking like kind of like sin meaning and then you know white rabbit can mean like the underworld can mean underground. You see it like in multiple pictures with all the kids like that, like the rabbit's pose next to it. And then one of the boys uh, had a picture where objects was easily placed in a certain way like that. And it kind of like, and somebody drew it out. And it could be, it could be a reach, but somebody drew it out. And it was like, it was like drawing a star, you know, like the star, like almost like a demonic like star like that. So it could be reached a little bit, like a little reaching, but the way some of the picture stuff is set up, like you see a devil man picture in the corner, like a picture of like some type of devil man or some type of little creature thing or something in the corner. But it was get real weird is um, when someone pointed out, I think on Twitter they pointed it out because I, I I was seeing some of the images, the other images like back there like that, like they can't have like their meanings, but it could be a reach or it could be not. But when you see some of the stuff, uh, like when they pop, when they accidentally like, like feel like maybe they misspelled it on purpose, but they might spell it that way like that on purpose. Um, and they put um b a b a a l um which spelled out I believe somebody said it was the um demon named Baal who um people used to sacrifice their children to. And you put that in a ch a, ca a child's photo shoot, that just makes it even weirder, even weirder, even crazier, and even worse. Like that, putting that in a child photo shoot like that, and kind of, and, and you, can, you can't say it's coincidence because. That has to be intentional because you look at it like at all the things that was like spelled like that and like we just and that you made me think some of the stuff can be overreaching like that is reaching for that stuff but you look at it like a certain way like okay that gotta be that gotta be intentional like that them putting there intentional like that and like there's some weird um creepy stuff they got going on like, and then you see of course like the date and kind of the height charts on the side you know like a kid is measure, they measure their height like they get older and stuff like that and you see a sad face next to 2029. And like some of the kids in the photo look about six, seven, and eight years old. So maybe by 2029, they might be um, 18. So it's a sad photo saying that maybe they're not a child no more and they can't be exploited no more or something like that. Because um, I don't know how they twisted minds work for some of these designers, but some of this stuff was terrible. But the icing on the cake, well, the icing on the back cake was the, those books they had in the back and people looked them up and searched them up. That was um, it's actually some court document files as well. Court doc document files that was on the table as well at that show like some cases against child um it was some child pornography cases and some weird stuff that's going on and then you see some pictures like some, some pictures from those um books that they showed was like kids playing in blood and with body parts and they was calling it art and I don't like don't, don't like don't, don't like art to me it was like some weird crazy stuff like that it was just terrible if you're doing art based off of kid work it should be something in the positive light and something showing innocence something showing something pure in life like that not showing something like dem demonic and twisted like that but it shows some crazy stuff on in those uh, images some crazy stuff all throughout those pictures and the designer the, the head designer lady i forgot her name it's something evoke us it's some it's some lady name i think it's a crazy name but if you see her you probably think she's <laughs> like i ain't no near just a book by cover like that but you know some people you can see and just know like yeah there's something about them that don't feel right it's like like an eerie feeling when you see stuff kind of like i was watching um like i watch shows and stuff like that and i see a person i'd be like they gotta be a bad guy. I always, I always think like they made they play like a double role, and you like, yeah, they, they was playing a double role, and you see like that. Sometimes you had a feeling about somebody, be like they got it. That, that I, don't, I don't know, it's something seen right. But you look at her, and you look at some of her Instagram stuff, um, and it's some terrible stuff. And like 
it was showing like she was had some pictures of like like kid rooms and it had like blood around the room and stuff like that and you know they can call it art and like oh this is awesome and I'm like i guess I, I don't think so and then you see some weird stuff like them like using like kid like stuff like teddy bears doing sexual gestures and all this crazy creepy stuff and like them and mocking the uh, christian religion and there's some crazy stuff she was doing all throughout all throughout the stuff so it, it just it just it just some um some bad stuff some bad vibes and it's just some sinister stuff and you look at some of like the creators some of the stylists and you just look at them they had a, that weird feel like you get that weird feeling like that and i'm not judging a book by the cover like you no know, people can look like that but like, you look, but like be something differently but you just like the way the sense of feel that you get when you like just like seeing them like something just like evil like but that right there was some crazy stuff some real crazy stuff and kind of moving on to the next um which i kind of answered already which i had a question on here was was it intentional i feel like it was intentional it was definitely intentional um planning some of that stuff because some of that stuff is just you can't say it's a coincidence it's like it's just like like it was like it was like meant to be like they meant to put it there purposely to let you know what they're doing and i feel like they're doing it because they because they're, they're arrogant they, like, they want you to know what they're doing and i think andrew tate he summed it up perfectly i know you're not the best person to get <laughs> To like listen to Vice World because sometimes some of the stuff I feel like be trolling sometimes, but he said it perfectly. He's talking about he's like describing someone how to Satan this work. Like they, they want you, they want you to um know what they're doing. So if you fall for it, be a fool enough to fall for it, and something happened to you, they, they believe that whatever comes with it comes with it because you fool enough to fall for it, so not their fault. Like that, he, he used the example of saying like poison apples. If, if the apples um if you poison some apples. And you almost selling them, and somebody died from it. You know, it'd be your fault because you they know the apples are poison because you tricked them. But he said, if, if you um was selling poison apples and you put them um you put a sign up and say it was poison apples and you ate it, and you seen that it was poisonous apples, it would be your fault like that because you was fool enough to fall for it. So whatever it comes with that decision you made, it comes with it like that. Which can be um of course of course you still shouldn't deceive people like that. But like that's the way they think like that. You know, the morals are not there. Like some people always think like saying, oh the age of consent is um 16, um but you know like, so it's legal like that. But in reality it's not it's, it's bad. You know because mor morally it's wrong. It's like saying like so you tell me a 30 year old is a, was a 16 year old, but since he consent since he consented or he consented. Um, it's, it's okay. I'm like, it's not okay. It's um, you might be saying like, trying to hide behind the law, but in reality, it's morally wrong. You know, the conscience is wrong. That's what separates the people, the people with good, you know, good morals and good conscience from the bad ones like that. They hide behind stuff like that. Just like people who was back in the old days. The same, for instance, like example of slavery times. You know, someone who's um, not everybody back there was slave owners like that. They knew that it was morally wrong to hold a man against his will and to kind of like have a, have a, a, a person, a man or woman as a slave and, and children as slave um, workers like that against their will like that. And some people say, well, it was legal back then. It was kind of the time. So and I'm like, nah, but like you, you still have morals and you still have codes and like and you should know what's right and what's wrong like that. So I don't hear none of that stuff like that. But I feel like, you know, that's, that's, that's what they're trying, to do, they're trying to do really. Like they're trying to like just put that stuff out there like that so like you can see like if you're still with us you're still supporting us then you're trying to bind into that evil you bind into that darkness i think it was intentional the way they had it because you can't tell me that they were like they will purposely not plant that stuff like that and somebody said maybe it could be an inside job somebody planting the stuff like that trying to get them set up i don't think so because they'll go over they'll go over you know they hide stuff like that they were trying to do stuff like that but i think it's kind of like intentional they're showing you what they they'll do but it's some crazy stuff or some um, weird stuff and it also kind of draws like to like uh, you see that one thing they had, um, which is kind of a little, not a topic, it's still on the same topic, but they had that little Christmas show, and they had like um, that little image with it, the kids supposed to holding up a, some letters saying, we love Santa. You see the picture on the screen. We love Santa, but actually it said, we love Satan instead. And it went through final, it went through all production like that, and it was like, it made the final cut. I'm like, how did they make the final cut? You guys edit stuff, and you would have seen it right back, you seen it right off the back, you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to be in there. And, and like when you filming the, the, the show thing like that, maybe they did it, when it came in accidentally, but I don't think it was an accident because you would have seen it because it went through, it went through all phases. You seen the clip, you chose the clip, you put it on the thing, and you seen the stuff. You know what supposed to be said there, like that. So it kind of be drawn bad, but it's kind of weird though. Santa Claus's name is you miss when you like switch one when you switch the let some some letters around. You spell Satan out of Santa Claus's name, and it kind of had me thinking like Santa Claus is on Christmas. Um, you know, you tell him your deep wishes, your desires, kind of like Satan. Like they say some deep wishes and desires like that to give you what you want like that. And we've seen the Krampus one. Remember the Krampus? They made Santa to like almost like this demonic devil entity thing like that when they did the movie like that. Kind of gave him a different like lighting, an evil lighting like that. But 
Santa, um, of course, like when you like mix the words around, like I said before, you, you see, of course, the word you see Satan and things like that, and you know, like on most and most and most like um most holidays don't really have a blocker. Like you see, like how for example, like Easter and Christmas, for Christmas you have Santa Claus, right? The word spelled mixed spelled around, it says Satan. Um, then you know when we, when I grew up on Christmas, you know, I was always about of course um the birth of Jesus and talking about that. We go go to church like that and talk about the birth of Jesus and like Jesus um being born and stuff like that, but maybe the Santa Claus um thing that developed is maybe a blocker. Maybe it's a blocker towards um towards um the, the Jesus being born like that kind of blocker. Do you see another holiday? Cause you'll see Thanksgiving with a blocker or Halloween with a blocker or some other holidays with a blocker. Do you see another holiday that's kind of religious, which is Easter and not kind of religious, but it is religious. It's Easter and um you see the, the bunny. And as I mentioned before, the white bunny, the white rabbit symbolizes the underworld, symbolizes darkness and like hell and stuff like that. And they use the Easter on the Easter Bunny on Easter kind of like blocked the um maybe Jesus rising from the day like that kind of so kind of like a block it kind of like counter blocking it could be it can be a reach like that but or it can be like something that like the public just doing because they don't display evil but I'm not saying Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny are evil but you never know you never know um what might be like a deeper meaning deeper context around things that evolve around the world but what leads me to the next the next um part of this thing right here is um why are so many of the celebrities who were Balenciaga or who was part of the stuff like that, who worked with the brand, why are they, why are they so quiet? Why are they so quiet about Balenciaga like that? And I, I had a couple of reasoning. Now, it's, there's three reasons probably. You know, you can see maybe they're quiet because they can't speak on it because they threaten, they, they fear for their life or their family life. That, that could be a reach like that. But we did see, we, we did see instances before in the past where people, you know, um, die of heart attacks or die of, I don't know if I can say that word on here, but S U. I C I D E. I'm like, I don't know if that's put that wrong. I hope I didn't spell that wrong. But that, but you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? People die of certain things. You might say, okay, I don't know if um that, that actually happened for real. Like something happened at the ordinary like that. Now you never know what could be going on. I always say, uh, I never like deny anybody, you know, stories or something like that. Like because you never know what could happen. You never know what could happen in this world. There's a lot of different things you don't know in this world. And then moving on to uh, the next, the next thing could either be that you don't want to hurt the money that's coming in. Like that, you don't want to talk about Balenciaga because you want to hurt your the dollars. That's, that's a bar right there. <laughs> you want to talk about Balenciaga because you want to hurt your dollars. That could be one thing as well too. And another thing also can be um maybe you're part of it. Maybe you're part of it, and maybe you're just going along with it like that because you you support everything they're doing. It's kind of like um people say in the NFL, a football and coaching. You guys watch like football and sports and stuff. Go to my channel um separately and go watch that stuff. I think a lot of football content over there. We have up to 300 subs, so go over there and subscribe. But you know, um, that's a <laughs> shameless plug in the channel. But you know, how people say over there when they um say, you either coaching it or you're allowing it to happen like that. So you either you either coaching it, you either telling them you're the part of it like that and thinking it's cool and stuff, or you just you know you just allowing it to happen like that. So you either like so it kind of be like brought that context. You either um quiet because you don't lose your money, or you along with it you're a part of it like that. But I always say you never idolize any of these celebrities. People be holding these celebrities on the pedestals and stuff like that like and hold people on pedestals that, and um some of my some of my favorite people would like to listen to I mean of course you guys probably know me you know, I listen to J. Cole I like listen to Kendrick Lamar J. I. D. and you know I love you know basketball and football so I love some of my favorite players you know Steeler players you know and NBA players like you know Miami Heat players mostly like Jimmy Butler and Bam of course LeBron James and stuff but I never idolize anybody you know I love wrestling as well too but I never idolize anybody hold them to a level I'm worshiping them like that because what they might show you on the screen might not be their real life to show you when they when they off the screen. But just like um, Instagram, Instagram is one of the worst apps in the world. Twitter is a bad. Twitter can be a bad app too, but it's a lot of positive things around the app. But it's talking about like in, in general, like they like Twitter. Of course, it can be some positive things. People can go out there and show their creativity. They use the platform. You see comedy. You see entertainment. You see people like build, using showing their music and they, the inspiration they love. They spread in positivity, but it's also can be some bad stuff in that too. And the council culture, them counseling people, not giving people second chances, and just bring a lot of negativity and just being harmful like tweets and messages to people. And it can lead to people to do, you know, like getting bullied and stuff like that. So it can be a lot of bad things drawn to it. But Instagram, I think, is one of the worst because they kind of like a lot of people, a lot of those celebrities show like a perfect life. So a perfect life, and then they show like everything that's how, that's how life supposed to be. And people kind of get poisoned in the mind and think like, oh, this is how life supposed to be. This is perfect life right here. I had Instagram before. But I don't have it anymore. It deactivated. I'm not getting it back. It, 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 is, it is some weird thing. It says I'm logging thing. It probably was. It probably was saving me. So I'm not getting it back. Like that. 
it was God looking out for me. So I'm like, I don't like Instagram back. I don't really need. I don't need it anyway. But you know, like you look at like some of the stuff on uh, Instagram, kind of like you see all these perfect lives. People show these perfect world, perfect life. Like they show, uh, like yeah, all the cars. They show you all the like materialistic things that no one really care about. Like that, but some people do care about it, and like kids get poisoned by that, and young, the youth get poisoned by that. Even though I'm, I'm 21 too, but I, I'm youthful still. I'm not that old, guys. 21 ain't that old. <laughs> but you get poisoned by it like that too, and you just kind of like think this is supposed to be the perfect life, ideal life. But behind the scenes, it could be some terrible stuff going on. They don't show you the struggles. Now, some people do show you some of the stuff like that, but some people don't show you the struggles. They don't show you like what's get to the get there. They don't show you like the, like the bad days they have like that. They don't show you everything like make everything perfect. And you see on uh, celebrities, like they say, they attempted this, they attempted to off themselves or they attempted. The, they something happen like this. They they going through this some type of crisis, some type of trauma. You be like, oh, I thought they had a, I thought they was doing perfectly fine. I just seen them on there because they kind of displaying this bad message to you like that. But um, and and so I, I, so that kind of lead me back to like don't, don't idolize these celebrities. Don't idolize any celebrities. Don't idolize these people. Hold them up to like the the highest standard and worship them like they're a god or something like that because they're not. They're human just like you, and you don't know what they could be screwing up behind the scenes you don't know what type of evil they have with them now some people can maybe be like maybe their life is like that you know you never know who, who, who i'm who i'm to say and like their life not, not like that like that but don't idolize anybody don't idolize anybody like that you know everybody just on this planet is equal everybody on this planet is can be it is the same like that don't idolize anybody like that but um but yeah that's really all i got for this video i know i was rambling a little bit Hope I didn't sound like a madman or anything, but I was, I was rambling, going on, but it's some crazy stuff, some crazy stuff. So these guys gotta keep your keep your eyes open, keep both your eyes open. You know, most of the time on the stories of horror, we do like a lot, like to do like a lot of dives in to like mysteries and unknowns and stuff like that, and um, like maybe discovering like some mystical creatures, mystical beings of the past, like if it's true or not, and like theories and stuff like that. But I had I had to um, dive into this one, this type right here. This type right here is a crazy topic, but. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like this video. Leave a like, subscribe, leave some comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.